Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Noelle and I do unboxings here. Mostly lifestyle subscription boxes, but also some stationery, books, beauty, jewelry, travel, home decor, even a dash of Disney. So if you like unboxings, I hope you'll consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell so that you find out whenever I post new videos or announce giveaways or go live. And as always, if you're already subscribed, thank you so much for being here and welcome back. Today I have the spring happy glamper box to share with you. This is a great little lifestyle box that started out as a monthly subscription, but they are now a quarterly subscription. However, the price has remained the same. It's still $49 per box plus $8 in shipping. If you'd like to save $5, you can use the code NOEL5. As always, I will leave all of that information for you in the description box below. But this is really a box for the outdoorsy, adventurous kind of gal who still enjoys some creature comforts. So it's for someone like me who definitely likes to get outdoors and hike and see some beautiful wilderness, but can also really really appreciate a good cup of coffee in the morning as well as maybe a hot shower at the end of the day. The other fun thing about this box is it is kind of a travel box because so far she's always taken us to a different destination so there's usually some fun travel accessories and gadgets in there. Now I haven't seen any spoilers for this box so I'm not sure where we are quote unquote going this time around but I'm really excited to check it out. This box was sent to me for review and in exchange for photos so we're gonna get into it and see where we're going this time. So right inside, I'm just seeing their little postcard that's usually got all of the products written on the back. And it looks like the theme for spring is road trip ready. So not a particular destination. This probably made it a little bit more uh, easy for her to source products, a little more flexibility because items could come from all over. So this is the lovely road trip image. And my husband and I do love to road trip. It is definitely one of his dreams to eventually have one of those old school camper vans, like one of those old pop top was Folias and I do really enjoy road trips as well just uh, seeing all of the beautiful views and also waking up in a different town and just kind of really seeing the country that we live in I think is so so fun uh, so it just says on the back road trips rule whether you're getting your kicks on route 66 traveling the Alaskan highway or day tripping around anywhere USA road trips have long been America's favorite form of travel we hope this box inspires our outdoor divas to follow the pavement to a new destination so seems like a great idea especially because international travel seems like it's still on hold for a little bit longer. I have driven across the country. I don't advise doing it the way I did. It was door to door 55 hours. We only stopped once. Uh, so I definitely would love to do another cross country road trip, but definitely take my time at least a couple of weeks. So it looks like she has actually gone back to including the retail values. She's kind of gone back and forth. So I really appreciate that that has returned and just glancing at it looks like five items in this box. It looks like we're getting very very close to around a hundred dollar value so definitely well over what you would pay we'll just have to see if we think those are kind of accurate prices and how many of the items are ones that I think I'll actually use and items that I think I might wind up regifting so inside it does look like we've got quite a few things in here there's just a little bit of shred in there not not a lot though so the first thing I actually see is right on top and it's not listed so it's like a little extra it says uh, love travel hate stains road spill on the go stain removal so just a little like towelette which is that's a great thing to have whether you're going cross country or just to the store because uh, you never know when you're gonna spill something especially if you are uh, having some drinks or having some food on the go so that's a great little item then the next thing I I'm seeing is very sparkly so let's check this out it looks like a little ornament but also kind of goes along with the uh, hashtag van life that I was mentioning so this is from natural life okay it's shedding all over me or sparkling all over me so it is a really cute little image it's like painted on wood on both sides it's got a little camper van with the tent actually on the top and it seems that uh, trees have actually grown up around it which is kind of funny um, but like I said I like the pop top ones where you kind of sleep up in the loft it is the same on both sides. I will say this glitter is getting like everywhere though. It is a keychain. Uh, it's got a pom pom, multicolored pom pom, and a tassel. So they didn't have to choose between pom poms or tassels because I love both of those things. It's got both. Now I have to say that for a functional keychain, this is a little bit big because you're not going to be actually be able to put that into your pocket very easily. Um, it does have a little clip though, so you could definitely make it a cute little bag charm on like your backpack or something. Although it might be a little like clanky and janky. Uh, so this is kind of to me more like an ornament maybe like it would be cute maybe on your rear view mirror or even with the sparkles like on your tree if you kind of have that kind of travel uh, themed tree so it says this is a road trip keychain 
We love natural life for every occasion and this keychain will have you dreaming of being queen of the road. And they do uh, feature natural life in this box quite a bit. It says this has a $16.99 value. Now that seems maybe right for an ornament, but like I said, I probably wouldn't personally purchase this just because it's cute, but it's not necessarily the most functional, but I definitely would have expected a keychain in this box with this theme. So that is cute. I just have to like shake it out so the glitter stops getting quite everywhere. The next thing it came in a little baggy, but it is a three port USB car charger. So that's definitely useful for a road trip. Unfortunately, it's in a very like pearlized pink. So I don't know that my husband will want this to live in his car. He's he's man enough that he can handle some pink, but that's probably more my taste. Uh, so this is always very useful. If you happen to have an older car that does actually have the cigarette lighter plug, I know some newer cars don't actually have that anymore, um, but we have old cars, so we can definitely take advantage of this. I already have one that uh, is a splitter for my car, but I definitely can put one into his car. Maybe he'll get the pink one. Uh, so this is super useful. Let's see what it says about this. No more fighting over the charger. You're welcome. And it says this has a 1999 value. I think that's probably about right. This is one of those things that I usually wind up purchasing like at a roadside stop or in a drugstore, like because of an emergency, because I forgot like my other charger or something. Um, and I usually feel like that's a little bit overpriced, but that's probably what you would wind up paying at one of those spots. So, okay, so $20 value on this. Uh, the next thing I'm seeing, uh, I know just because I know that Knock Around is actually a San Diego brand, so it looks like we got some sunglasses for the road. So indeed, it says based out of San Diego, Knock Around is always down for your next road trip. Severely cute sunglasses that won't break the bank, and it says these have a $24.99 value. Now, I will say that seems a little bit high just based on what I know of Knock Around glasses, uh, you know, and, and the fact that they're called Knock Around glasses. I've definitely seen them as promos for a lot of things. But it looks like, oh, this is good. So it was like in a little pink square with the, the letter P and I was like, are these pink sunglasses? Um, but no, it says that they're actually polarized, which now I think that value is totally fair because I love polarized glasses. I pretty much only wear polarized glasses. That's something that just came from working on boats growing up in Hawaii. Uh, so it says quality shades that won't break the bank. Very green um, little case for them. I wish there was a hard case. That's definitely something that I like a little more structure, but I do appreciate you can use these of course to clean your glasses now let's see what they look like okay so they're not pink which I'm super excited about they're actually like a tortoise shell with kind of a mirrored amber lens and it is getting to be spring and summer which is when we get a lot of sunglasses in different boxes so I always have to do a try on for you and try not to get too much glare so these are pretty cool. They're a little big, they're a little bit square, but I do like the lens. Things are still like nice and bright and I like that they're tortoise shell because I feel like that's something that appeals to a lot of people. Nothing too crazy, nothing too bright. Um, so these are actually pretty great and I'll, I'm definitely happy to always have an extra pair of sunglasses in my car because you never know when you're gonna forget. Um, and then there is something that is paired with the sunglasses, which is, which is kind of smart. So it is these, oh, they're, they're, they have a special name. So these are Chums Eyewear Retainers. Now I would just call them sunglasses holders, but it is an eyewear retainer. So it is in this really pretty uh, teal material, kind of the happy glamper teal. So this is a nice little adjustable bead. And then at the ends, you just kind of slide these over the ends of the sunglasses on the arms. And they do have like kind of a little tube in there. So they're really grippy. These are definitely useful if you're out and about being a little bit more active, whether you're hiking, or you know playing sports or I used to always use sunglass holders when I was jet skiing way way back in the day because you don't want your glasses to fall off um, and it's not always a great idea just to put them on your head like I do all the time because they will inevitably fall off or a branch will knock them off or they'll get scratched so these are good to have it says our head glamper in charge has had the same pair of chums for over 20 years well hopefully she saved a, a set for herself uh, so she can get a fresh fresh uh, fresh, what is it called? Eyewear retainer. It says crucial to eyewear retention on your next road trip or just out on the ball field. Chum started in the back of a VW van with a $60 sewing machine. Smart. So it says these have an $8.99 value, which again, 
I, I just wouldn't necessarily purchase these, but these seem like something you might wind up needing out on the road. So now you don't have to make that sort of like uh, on the road purchase because you'll already have them. And the good thing about these is they're kind of like first aid kit. Like you can definitely kind of bundle them all together and have them like in one of the like side door like pockets for just for when you need something like this on your next road trip. And then our final item is a book, which is kind of interesting. So uh, don't read it while you're driving, but maybe an audiobook would have made more sense for a road trip, uh, for a road trip box. But it says, Richard Rattay, Don't Make Me Pull Over, An Informal History of the Family Road Trip. That's kind of funny. Um, so let's see what, uh, what it says on the inside. It says, part pop history and part whimsical memoir in the spirit of National Lampoon's Vacation, Don't Make Me Pull Over is a nostalgia look at the golden age of family road trips, a halcyon era that culminated in the latter part of the 20th century before portable DVD players, iPods, and Google Maps. In the days before cheap air travel, families didn't so much take vacations as survive them. Between home and destination lay thousands of miles and dozens of annoyances, and with his family, Richard Rute experienced all of them, from being crowded into the back seat with noogie happy older brothers, to picking out a souvenir only to find that a better one might have been had at the next stop, to dealing with a dad who didn't believe in bathroom breaks. The Birth of America's first interstate highways in the 1950s hit the gas pedal on the road trip phenomenon and families were soon, soon streaming sans seat belts to a range of sometimes stirring sometimes wacky locations frequently what was remembered the longest wasn't mount rushmore yellowstone or disney world but such roadside attractions as the thing near texas canyon arizona or the mystery spot near santa cruz i've been to the mystery spot and then it says, in this road tourism crazy era that stretched through the 1970s, national parks attendance swelled to 165 million and a whopping 2.2 million people visited Gettysburg each year, 13 times the number of soldiers who fought in the battle. Now, decades later, Rite offers a peon to what was lost, showing how family togetherness was eventually sacrificed to electronic distractions and the urge to get there now. In hundreds of amusing, amusing ways, he reminds us of what once made the great American family road trip so great, including 20-foot landing yachts, oasis like Holiday in Holodomes, smoky spotting fuzz busters, 28 glorious flavors of Howard Johnson's ice cream, and the thrill of finding a good buddy on the CB radio. A rousing Rite family ride along Don't Make Me Pull Over reveals how the family road trip came to be, how its evolution mirrored the countries, and why those magical journeys that once brought families together, for better or for worse, have largely disappeared. So that's pretty cool. I feel like it's going to be really a nostalgic read for a lot of people, but as someone who did not grow up going on family road trips because I lived on an island so you could pretty much drive around the whole island in a single day. Um, I don't know how much like I will get out of this book. I'm sure that it's really funny and I'm sure it will like sort of make us lament all of the technology that we bring along with us and the lost art of actually being able to read a map. Um, but I don't know, this is probably something I'll pass on to someone else who maybe does have those kind of uh, memories of Texas Canyon, Arizona. I, I didn't even know that place existed, but it does look fun. It is a nice hardcover, so that's kind of cool. And it does have a value of $26.99, which of course is the hardcover value, which is never exactly what you would actually pay for the book. Uh, so it just says a nostalgic and hysterical look at the culture of the family road trip. Even if you miss this golden era, Richard Rute will enlighten you on the origin of the American tourist. So cool item um, again not necessarily like my favorite item in here just because I feel like I would have probably wanted to pick that out for myself in terms of the fun like travel accessories I think it's great that we got the um, USB port that's always useful and helpful I would have preferred just the plain black instead of the like cutesy pearlized pink but I get that that kind of goes with the happy glamper vibe um, I think the keychain is super cute but not like the most functional thing in the world so I'll probably use it as an ornament so probably my favorite items are the sunglasses because they're polarized and then also the um, eyewear retainer which goes with it which I wouldn't normally like wear but I could see some occasions where I might want to have one of those on hand let me know in the comments below though what your favorite item was if you have any memories of family road trips or recent road trips that you've gone on or like the most important things to take on a road trip in your mind I would love to hear from you if you enjoyed this video please do give it a thumbs up and hopefully I see you all very very soon in my next unboxing